Ah, I see I'm going to need another clamp. Fortunately, I have one or two dozen. The sound has deteriorated at this point to where you can't hear anything because of the roaring sound. I was using a Radio Shack inexpensive wireless microphone which does not have noise canceling and it was just uh, uh, abysmal. So I'm going to do this as a narration and hope you'll bear with me on it. You'll notice that I'm oiling the brace. That's something that I try and do every time I use it. Uh, and I also try and pick a new brace out of the stack so that I can clean up the brace and make sure that it's working well. Uh, I have a big pile of braces so I'm going through a lot of them. One of the things that I try and do also is this is a fairly large hole so this is one of the bigger braces. I'm having trouble drilling these holes. I get in about an eighth of an inch and it strips the pilot out. Turns out somebody had sharpened this auger bit and really screwed up the angles on it so that the center cutter was uh, just rubbing instead of cutting. I could get about a quarter inch in and then it would just pop out. So as time went on, I'm doing a lot of sharpening and adjusting and, and tweaking on this drill bit as we go along. The cutter needed to be, the, the center radial cutter needed to be sharpened. The pilot thread needed to be cleaned. The uh, angle needed to be fixed on the center pilot and I needed to sharpen the wing cutter also. So by the time I was all finished with those things, I ended up with this little plug cut out of there and I was extremely sweaty. Now I'm setting up to cut the smaller hole and it provided a whole new set of challenges. I don't usually use a adjustable auger bit for a whole 7 eighths of an inch in diameter because I have drill bits that size. Because the chuck was 1.1 inches in diameter, I needed to use the adjustable auger to get the hole size right. Here I'm making a test cut in the backer board just to make sure that the hole size is right after I've adjusted the auger bit. Fortunately, I hit the size the first time. Now I run into a new problem. The tip is plugging. 
there's not enough room between the spur and the main body of the drill for the chips to get through. So it's actually forming a little plug inside that spot. I'm able to cut a few turns before the bit plugs. But inevitably, it plugs. I have to take the bit out, knock that chip out of the adjustable auger. This seems to be a problem unique to this CS Jennings adjustable auger. They put a pocket in the side of the pilot to allow the little spur to actually slip inside the body of the drill bit. And that made a channel that was curved. So instead of having the chips just flow through it like you would expect, they would get in there and wedge in and just jam the bit. Here I'm showing you what kind of a problem I'm having because I have to knock that little chip out. Irwin doesn't have this problem. It's just something unique to that CS Jennings bit. And since this is the only CS Jennings bit that I have, and it only occurs when you're cutting something within an eighth inch of the minimum size that the drill bit will cut. It's not going to be something I'm going to run into a lot, but sure did annoy the dickens out of me on this one, because I could only go about five turns and then I'd have to stop and clean out the bit again and blow the chips out of the hole, because if you don't blow the chips out of the hole, when you put the bit back in, it sits on top of the chip, then it rides around that chip like a sled and doesn't start cutting and it's just a real pain in the butt. Now I've gotten deep enough that the chips are starting to build up in the hole. You can see them just falling off of the auger bit there. There's no place for the chips to go. On a standard auger bit, you've got the spiral that uh, on the flutes that brings the chips out of out of the hole. Adjustable auger bit doesn't have that. It usually relies on having such a big hole that it, the chips just fall in there and don't cause a problem. But since I'm making the hole just about as small as the bit will cut, there's no room for the chips. So I'm having to stop, clean out the hole, and keep fiddling with it. Finally made it through. Both holes drilled. Thank God. And I'm cleaning the chips out again and just in general not having a fun time with this bit. Now that we have the holes drilled, I need to scribe a line down through the center of the holes. Then using a rip saw, an opening. I'm going to use a rip saw and cut an opening down through the 2x4 so that I can 
clamp these two pieces together. longer to set that up than it did to do it. I can use this a couple of different ways. One, just to clamp the device in there and I can spin the chuck out take a screwdriver and back that piece out of there or just reassemble it works now we finished making the chuck disassembly fixture it's pretty simple 2x4 with a couple of holes drilled in it and a slot cut down between the holes so that you can clamp that shut either in the vise or with a clamp. We finished making the chuck disassembly fixture. It's pretty simple. It's just a 2x4 with a couple of holes drilled in it and a slot cut down through there so that the two sides can be clamped together. You can use it either in a vise or with a clamp, and it'll fit uh, an egg beater if you set the hole at top, like this one for the egg beater, then the egg beater goes in there. This one I set for a brush drill that I wanted to disassemble. If you guys have any questions or things that you'd like to have me answer, or ideas for videos, please just drop a note in the comments below. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.